Aren't we all? <laughs> Not me. I've done a day of that. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. Awesome. Great. Six o'clock. We're going to go ahead and call our uh, planning board meeting May 3rd, 2022 to order. Uh, first uh, uh, order of business is going to be approval of the agenda. I got anybody that would approve our agenda for tonight? I move approval of the agenda. Second. Awesome. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Cool. All right, next we're going to look and approve the minutes from March 1st, 2022. All right, second Jeff, you want to approve this time? Yeah, I'll make a motion we approve. <laughs> mm -hmm. I second it. <laughs> All in favor? We can go back. Aye. We'll go back and forth. <laughs> you guys are so nice. Yeah. Awesome. Public comment. Um, there's no public here, so I guess we'll skip right through that. Perfect. Um, old business. Old business, old business. Exactly. No old business to discuss, so we're going to go to the new business. Uh, in new business tonight's item one's uh, ordinance on text amendments. Uh, Adrian, if you want to come up and talk to us about that. This is a public hearing, so you need to open the public hearing. Close the public hearing. Oh, even though nobody's here? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Does anybody hear public hearing? We're going to open that up for comments now. Oh, Facebook. Anybody on Facebook, Ryan? Or Okay, anybody, no comments then? So we'll go ahead and close it, and now we'll go new business. Okay, so we have several ordinance amendments from the zoning ordinance and the subdivision ordinance. Um, in your packet, you had the um, revisions, the red line version of the document. Um, I've also given you the clean version if these amendments are approved and um, provided you with um, okay, I didn't provide you that, so never mind. So I'm going to explain what the amendments are. Um, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. So there's three sections in the zoning ordinance that we are recommending amendments to. The first is the definition section 5410, um, adding the definition of application for further clarification for submittal requirements for development approvals. Um, the application will read, the definition will read, um, application means any development ap application submitted to the town of Woodfin for approval of a permit, site plan, certificate, or any other authorization required for development and includes all forms, site plans, and building plans as required by the town of Woodfin. So that's that recommendation. Any questions on that? No, I don't have any questions. Are we supposed to approve each one individually? Or um, how do you want to? Yeah. We should do it that way. Is that what no, you? Oh, no. Yeah. All of it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I would recommend voting on the zoning amendments and yeah. vote on the subdivision Okay. Sorry for the sun in your eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put some shade up. <laughs> um, <coughs> another amendment that is being recommended is section 5434 certificate of zoning compliance the zoning ordinance this is addition of language to regulate land disturbance happening prior to issuance of a zoning permit um, and so in the red there you see the language being added is nor shall any land disturbing activity including clearing and grubbing of trees and other vegetation for the construction of any building be initiated until an application for a zoning compliance permit is approved has that been a problem? <clears throat> We're just trying to make sure it's not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. And then the last uh, revision to the zoning ordinance is section 54 of 317, fences and retaining walls. Um, this is just kind of cleaning up that section a little bit and changing the uh, height allowance for fences. So um, we were adding that fences may be erected in any, it already said rear and the side, but we're adding front yard setback so they cannot, they can be erected in any rear side or front yard setback adjacent to a lot line as long as they do not exceed six feet. Um, Have they not been allowed in the, in the front yards before? Or are we just making was, sure people know about that they can? It wasn't referenced before, it was just referenced for the side and rear, so we're adding the front cool. now. 
Um, so fences cannot seed six feet in height when located in the front yard setback and eight feet when located inside and rear yard setbacks. So that's the change. The amendment is adding the front yard setback reference and increasing the height to eight feet in the rear and side yard setback. We will be coming back uh, next month with some changes to the retaining wall regulations. Um, in conjunction with some amendments to the steep slope ordinance. Just curious from my own knowledge, really, what's the height limit kind of have to do with, why, why, why are we restricting the height, in other words? Just curious. Why are we? Like restricting the height in the front, the six feet, versus letting it be all uniform to eight. I'm just curious if somebody asks. It's, I mean, this is in residential districts. Yeah, so I know. I got one in my neighborhood, that's why I ask. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so it's really just what is in character with the area. Okay. And, and that's one of the one of the reasons we're making this change is that we commonly see eight foot fences, mm -hmm. particularly at side and rears. It's less common in the front. Right, right. Um, so we don't necessarily want properties to wall themselves totally off from the neighborhood. It's just so if this foot exi fence exists that he's talking about, does that have to come into compliance or because it's already exists, is it, we which is to, it? We have to investigate it. So I'm not, <laughs> let it be on record, I'm not complaining about it or anything. <laughs> Just if somebody asks me about it because I'm, I'm in the neighborhood, I'd like to be able to explain it. So for this theoretical fence. Right? Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Um, if it has, if it's a new fence, like if the neighbor complains, say my neighbor just put up a fence, it's 12 feet tall, Okay. Then we can investigate it gotcha. and potentially issue a notice of violation. If it's a fence that's been there for 10 years, there's actually a statute of limitations in the state that says you can't take enforcement action after seven years if it was visible and five of them mm -hmm. Five of them were visible, seven of them wasn't. Um, so it just would we have to investigate the scene. Cool. I mean, that's totally fine. I just, again, it was just kind of a hypothetical situation that might happen. So that's the zoning ordinance amendments that we are recommending if you would like to make a motion or discuss further. Okay. I make a motion that we approve the, the zoning ordinances that have been presented, the or zoning ordinance changes that have been presented. Is that what you'd, I'd need to say? Or do you need me to even specify the one? No, that's, that's fine. Okay. Well, they're reading. I guess I'll second that. <laughs> <coughs> Anyone else? All, all in favor? Aye. Uh, it looks like we're going to pass that one. Okay, moving Let's on. Let's move on to subdivisions. Um, so this is the this these are amendments recommended to section 4681 specifically in the subdivision ordinance for final plat submission and review. Um, this was just an effort to kind of clean up that section and. Um, be in compliance with state statute. So um, I've, here on the slide are the thing, the major components of that have changed, and that is uh, removing the requirement of board approval for a final plat. The board, planning board and board of commissioners both review the preliminary plat. Um, so that's when you get the public feedback and, and you get to, to review it. And then if the, the final plat has to match the preliminary plat, so staff signs up on the final plat our ordinance was making the subdivider come back through the boards again. Okay. So but the staff will still be checking to yes. see that they've complied. Okay. Um, we reorganized the performance guarantees section. Um, I, it's in here. It might be easier to look at while I'm explaining this. Um, so the performance guarantee section, we just kind of reorganized that a little bit so it was um, more reader friendly. And um, we, the letter of credit option and the cash option were in one provision, so we separated those out. Um, Remove the, re just change some language. So that's basically what happened with the performance guarantee section. Um, and under the submission requirements, there was a whole page of the certificates that would be, the signed certificates that would be 
required to be on a plat, but those are governed by other agencies and 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 those we know what needs to be on there those agencies do we didn't think it was needed in the ordinance so we removed those um, and then we amended submittal requirements and added an option for electronic submittal and lowered the number of paper plats that okay. we require to be submitted okay. if you'd like me to go through any of that section and explain anything I can pull it up and we can go through it uh, but that's the main gist of those amendments Consolidate and all that, yeah. Any questions? I don't. Okay. Anybody want to make a motion? You done it so well, do it again. I second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't really know what to say. I, I recommend that we um, approve the uh, subdivision ordinance changes that have been uh, requested uh, you do have to second Jeff. second <laughs> all those in favor okay, motion passes that's all I had on the agenda for tonight there will be more on the agenda we'll get back into the swing of things next mm. month no. more people coming <laughs> forward huh? anybody else so, yeah. Anybody got anything else they'd like to add to our meeting tonight? I do, but all of us don't have enough time. Go ahead, add it. I'm just, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> all right, then. Somebody wants to make a, mer a motion uh, to adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn. <laughs> uh, I second it. Gotcha. All in favor? Go. Meeting complete. <laughs>